friends of the media, the story of Jerry, Jerry John Rollins is inseparable from that of his wife and our leader, Nana Kunadu Ajman Rollins. She is the mother of his children. She is his love, his friend, his soulmate, his partner, his pillar, his counselor, and his defender. And he too was all these and more to her. Their hopes and their fears were shared. And together they shaped his political life and his impact on our dear country. She believed in him and he believed in her. They believed in and held on to each other without reservation. Their loyalty to each other was there for all to see. They began their lives together as teenagers at Achimota School almost 60 years ago. They embraced each other in spite of any shortcomings they might have seen in each other. Over the years, some people came and went. Some went and came. But through it all, Nana Kunedu stood by Jerry John Rollins. They survived near-death experiences during the tumultuous periods of Ghana's political history. She stood by him even in the darkest moments of May 1979, when President Rollins came close to being executed. She was with him through the events of the June 4, 1979 uprising. She stood by him through the 31st December 1981 revolution, which culminated in the birth of the PNDC. And she was also right at the very center of the founding of the NDC. If Jer Jerry Rollins is the father of the NDC, then indeed Mrs. Rollins is both the midwife and mother of the NDC. The 31st December Women's Movement, which she founded, became a formidable women's group that helped to propel the NDC to victory, both in 1992 and 1996 general elections. Indeed, if there was ever anyone who embodies Jerry John Rollins' essence in his absence, it is none other than Mrs. Nana Kunadu Ajman Rollins. And so, we mourn with her in this separation. Therefore, now more than ever, Mrs. Rollins needs the support of all true cadres of the revolution, believers of the enduring principles of Jerry John Rollins and all well-meaning Ghanaians. We in the NDP commiserate with our leader and the entire Rollins family on their laws and assure them of our unflinching support in these difficult moments. Our party structures across the country will fully participate in the national events to be outlined in celebration of the life of this great statesman. Attempts to desecrate Rollins' legacy before his death. Ladies and gentlemen, some curious events in the past few days have come to our attention, which show clearly that there are attempts by some elements to desecrate the legacy and the name of President Rollins even upon his demise. These acts are being perpetrated by persons who have shown a desire to constantly humiliate Jerry John Rollins and his family even when he was alive. It is worth noting that these deliberate orchestrations to humiliate the Rollins family began long ago. It began right from the period when certain individuals, many of whom were direct beneficiaries of the revolution that Jerry John Rollins led and the party that he formed at the peril of his life felt the need to use their temporary hold on the leadership of NDC to relegate him to the background in order to capture the juicy fruit born from his sacrifices. They have tried to harvest where they have not planted. For the past decade, these elements led principally by the Ahoys and the Mahama group within the NDC orchestrated a series of coordinated attacks 
aimed at destroying the legacy of the original Rawlings. This they did by sponsoring political neophytes. JJ himself aptly described as babies with sharp teeth to unleash barrages of insult and spew damning political rhetoric on the persons of Mr. and Mrs. Rawlings. Even the eventual ostracization of Mr. and Mrs. Rawlings from the NDC was inadequate to appease them. As recently as this year, Professor J. Nana Opoku Ajeman, the running mate of the NDC, wrote the foreword of a book by Professor Kwame Nahoy, which was aimed at destroying legacy of Jerry John Rawlings. Indeed, in the weeks leading up to this, his demise, President Rawlings made it clear to all those he had meetings with <clears throat> that was ex extremely heartbroken that neither the leadership of the NDC nor the executives had made any statement in defense of the founder nor to correct the lies in the book, Working with Rawlings. Today, the political henchmen who were utilized for such diabolic assignments have been rewarded with high positions in the NDC and uh, John Mahama and those who picked up the baton are also expecting big posts under a Mahama government. Those who produce four words of books that cast the founder of the party in bad light are hoping to occupy the highest position in government on the ticket of the party, which was formed through the sweat and blood of Jerry John Rawlings. What did Rawlings do to warrant such disrespect from the NDC under the leadership of John Mahama? All Rawlings did was to be a voice of conscience reminding them of his enduring principles of probity, accountability, and anti-corruption. Creeds, the NDC and the John Mahama blatantly disregarded when they assumed the reins of power. <coughs> as a result, they sought to silence him so as to prevent him from publicly repudiating them for their unprecedented levels of corruption. We are troubled that some of these same persons, upon the demise of President Rawlings, now seek to lead in mourning the man. They have begun to shed crocodile tears. They spent thousands of dollars to sponsor videos made in Washington, D.C. by one Kelvin Taylor, who is tipped to be information minister in the event of a Mahama comeback, to insult President Rawlings in West. Some of which, some of which we dare not repeat and posted them all over the world through Facebook, WhatsApp, and other social media platforms. With the apparent endorsement of John Mahama and NDC leadership, Kelvin Taylor said, and I, I quote, Rawlings is a modern-day Judas and a hypocrite. He and his sleazy wife are greedy. He behaves as a lapdog to the MPP government and always kisses the ass of Nana Akufu Addo any time he gets an opportunity to speak about corruption. He also went on to say, and I quote, J.J. Rollins is not God. He is bad news and a modern-day Judas. And such a man does not even deserve to be a statesman. J.J. Rollins is a coward. You are a hypocrite and a disgrace on the lap of a midget. These actions were deliberate and orchestrated by the Muhammad-led NDC to hurt Jerry, Jerry Rollins and kill his soul even when he was alive. And now, the NDC, which was fighting over a book of condolence, ended up restating <clears throat> their contempt for President Rawlings by using a reception log book as a book of condolence at their party office. We want to serve notice that the NDP will make it a point to expose those who are making feverish attempts to rewrite their despicable opinions about President Rawlings and readjust their abhorrence for the man after all the sacrifices he made for them. And now, upon his demise, they are seeking the limelight for more personal political gain. How dare they? If John Mahama managed to profit from the death of President Mills, he should not be allowed to do the same with the demise of our beloved President Rollins, and Ghanaian should not and will not oblige him that.
the hypocrisy of the NDC. When Jerry Rollins was alive, John Mahama so desperately wanted to silence him. And now that JJ is no more, John Mahama finds it expedient to utilize his death to galvanize support for his weakening base within the NDC rank and file and the country at large to salvage his 2020 campaign, which is going nowhere. Suddenly, the individuals <clears throat> in the NDC under the current leadership of John Mahama, who publicly vilified Jerry John Rollins, have rediscovered a new voice proclaiming themselves to be the true adherents of his ideals. Those who publicly describe JJ using unpleasant words such as calling him a barking dog are now hailing him. Why? <clears throat> in what was widely reported by media outlets in Ghana, John Mahama during the NDC's unit, unity walk in Ho, in the Volta region in 2018, was on record to have labeled J.J. Rollins as a Volta god, with a small g, who did not deserve to be worshipped by Voltarians. In fact, he's quoted as saying, we have worshipped the Volta god for so long, it is time to build a party beyond individuals. No sacrifice will please him. This was a classic situation where John Mahama made a futile attempt to turn Voltarians against their hero. It did not end there. Voltarians who felt they were going to be safe under the leadership of John Mahama were given the shock of their lives when Mahama deliberately sponsored candidates to remove all Voltarians from the leadership of the NDC during the national executive elections. Today, there's not a single Voltarian elected to a substantive position not even as a deputy in the Mohammed's NDC. Today, the same Mahama who admonished Voltarians against what he claimed as worshipping of the Volta God is frantically exploiting the death of the same Volta God to salvage his failing political ambitions. It is too late. The most unfortunate aspect of this development is that in an attempt to unduly benefit from his demise, the leadership of the NDC are embroiled in a desperate battle against the state and the Rollins family over who has a right to conduct the funeral rites of the late president, whom they have so much maligned. What they do not know, or perhaps have deliberately overlooked, is the fact that they are robbing the late president of a befitting send-off. Or maybe that is what they want. They desperately want to reduce the send-off from a, be a befitting state burial to a party funeral just so they can benefit politically. The wishes of President Rawlings. This brings us to the point where we examine the wishes of President Rawlings. It is an important exercise that true believers and cadres of his ideals must conduct because honoring his wishes in his absence is precisely what is needed to honor him and his legacy. In doing so, I will ask a few questions that should get us to ponder over the man and his wishes. Would JJ have wished for the current crop of NDC leaders to conduct his funeral rites? The answer is no, because in Keta, for his mother's funeral, he was visibly pained and made his head known to John Mahama and NDC for turning the solemn ceremony into an NDC event. This was all captured on video. Would he have wished for Voltarians to support a leader who said Voltarians were treating him as if he was the Volta God? The answer is no. Would he have wished for the cadres of the revolution to support a running mate who edited and produced a foreword of a book that desecrates his legacy and by extension, the legacy of all those who sacrifice for our nation? The answer is no. Would we have wished for Mahama to continue leading the party and driving it further away from the principles and values on which he built the party? The answer is no. JJ, in an interview with Kweku Sechiado on Asasi Radio on 12 July 2020, categorically stated that he voted for his wife, Nana Kunadu Ajman Rollins, in the 2016 presidential election. When he was alive, he chose not to be part of John Mahama's 2020 campaign, and it would be disingenuous to seek to make him a part of the campaign now that he's gone. Much more so to link his funeral to the same party's activities. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 elections are due in a matter of weeks. But JJ is gone. However, ask yourself as a kidder or a comrade, ask yourself as you mourn his person, ask yourself as someone who shared the pain that Muhammad and his supporters inflicted on JJ when he was alive. Ask yourself as someone who believes in what JJ stood for. Would JJ want to vote for a candidate that he thought was not fit to lead the party that he JJ founded? As a matter of fact, Jerry John Rollins was eager to see Mahama lose in the 2020 elections because he believed Mahama and his cohorts had departed from the very ideals of poverty and accountability upon which the NDC was formed. When Mahama was elected as the flag bearer of the NDC for the 2020 uh, general elections, JJ was blunt about Mohammed's intentions. According to JJ, Mohammed's intentions are not to win the 2020 general elections. His intentions are to simply hijack the NDC with his money in an attempt to show up again as a party's flag bearer in 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, we can foresee NDC losing this election and 2021-2022 ushering in a new era for soul, for the soul and control of the NDC. That fight is inevitable. John Mahama has ironically teamed his 2020 com com campaign a rescue mission. It's ironic because many that hired activists who mean well for the NDC are waiting for an opportunity after the John Mahama's defeat two weeks from now to begin in earnest the mission to rescue the NDC from John Mahama and the Ahoys. Our message to all those true Rollins loyalists and disgruntled disi disciples of poverty and accountability is this. Join the NDP now and let's work together to honor what JJ believed in. Ladies and gentlemen, clearly, if you are a true believer in JJ, you cannot honor his memory by choosing a candidate who, together with Bacchus, sowed discord between JJ and the party he founded and worked hard to discredit Mrs. Rollins, his lifelong defender, partner, counselor, pillar, friend, confidant, comrade, and soulmate. As promised, we will call you again to update you on our presidential bid. But definitely, we will not glorify our detractors. Finally, we would like to ent the entire members of the Rollins, Aguchi, and other affiliated families in Accra and Keta to know that they are in our thoughts and prayers. We wish to thank them and his wife and children for sharing J.J. Rollins with the whole country and the NDP. We thank him for his support for our party. Our final message goes to Mrs. Rollins. We say stay strong as JJ would have liked you to be. As always, his soul will continue to protect you. Thank you. God bless you. Long live the legacy of Rollins. Long live the revolution. Long live our leader. Long live the NDP. Thank you very much. General Secretary, the General Secretary of, of NDP. Hello. My name is Alaji Mohammed Frempon, the General Secretary of National Democratic Party. But as a matter of fact, NDP, we have General Secretaries with the title Secretary General. So I am indeed the Secretary General of the National Democratic Party. Thank you very much. Good afternoon once again. Thank you very much for coming. Now the floor is open for questions. If you have any question, please kindly come to this side. Then we pick it from there. So maybe three, three each. We pick the first three, we answer them, then we move on to the next set. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. 
your name and where you are from, please. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello. Please come, come close. Is this place? Okay. All right. Hello. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Latif Idris. I work with Joy News. Uh, you, thanks for the clarification given on what you have now described as fake news. But I want you to, to be clear with us. Is she going to contest come December 7, 2020, or she is opting out and she will not be in the race come December 7, 2020? That is different from saying what has gone out earlier today is fake news. I want if you can put clarity on that for us. Secondly, um, you described her in your speech as more than a midwife of the NDC. Now that the former president, may he so rest in peace, is gone now, is no more with us, would you say the midwife and the mother of the NDC will reconsider her position, the position she had about the party, when the co-founder, in your own words, was alive? Will she now reconsider her decision to, I mean, change her own perception and posturing towards the opposition NDC. Uh, my final question, you made allegations about the former president sponsoring videos by one Calvin Taylor to damage the reputation of the late former president. Would you mind sharing with us the evidence that you have to support this claim that you have just made on national television? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So please, no, before we proceed, uh, there is one thing that we have to do before we come back to the questions. You know, we have uh, our local language uh, stations also peaking, so we have to summarize everything in, in our local language. That's three. Then we move to the questions. I hope we are okay. Yeah, okay. So Alaji, please, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, let me first answer whether the flag bearer will contest. Uh, in line with tradition, you know, the very observation that somebody made, that according to whether a country, whatever, uh, you expect a widow to bow out, you know, because of the demise of uh, her spouse. Uh, we think that was not the case. But rather, you don't subject. Politics is an active process. We do not want you know, we've stated in our opening, uh, I mean, in our introduction, that the issue whether or not she was going to contest, uh, that's not even a right. Uh, if you know too well. But you don't also go before a widow, you know, and carry out what is circulating in public, you know, and have a conversation with her. So don't you worry, we all live in Ghana and we live to see. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, indeed, um, we said she was the mother and the midwife. I mean, nobody will contest that fact. But like you know, um, political parties, unfortunately, are not like, I mean, domiciles that you build so that if the occupants are misbehaving, you, you just uh, boot them out. You know, polit political party laws allow uh, like-minded people to continue to build it up. And that is what happened. But fortunately, or unfortunately, that is the issue we are talking about now. You know, the issue is that the late president, as the founder of the nation, uh, is not tested. And the stability that we've enjoyed for 28 years is not also to be looked upon, you know, as something that is uh, of fun. It is indeed a priceless uh, uh, achievement for, for the nation. But, you see, as in every ideal, you always have what you call revisionists. The revisionists may have their purpose. On the, on the broader global scene, I will uh, cite the case of, uh, you remember the former Soviet Union? You know, when the Chinese were accusing them of revisionism, uh, they thought they were very much founded, and uh, in fact, the same revisionism uh, led into the collapse of a very formidable nation called the Soviet Union. 
So that's what we're talking about. You know, Rawlings' ideals are impregnable and is so important to the nation. So if you have a group of people who will toy with it, I mean, just like all of us in the NDP, we do not want to uh, glorify them. So as to whether they will come back or not, uh, well, since there's an English word called repentance, probably, you know, that's only where we have that possibility, you know, if people can repent, you know. But certainly, uh, that would require a lot of purging, and we do not want to put our head to that task. So as to whether she is going to come or not, you know, is another question. Don't worry. The issue of uh, uh, the sponsor of Kelvin Taylor or whatever, you know, at the appropriate time will tell you. I mean, don't, don't mind at all. Uh, that is not a big deal. Thank you. So, like I mentioned earlier on, yes. we need a summary for our local okay. uh, radio stations, Yo, please. Yeah. I have four near T four more F eight and A V Nitia what you wanna say. Your mom pany that we fumon Ah na who can ye any yen yeah Franka to ni Doctor Mrs. Nana Kunadwajima Rollins. Enna I must say Yeshia Sa uh Trofo any the Bofo in Shia Mui. Nya ye can it ya wanna say Openy no any gana be di in ye. Or can or cray, it will be Biara, William. And I must say, you can be my mummy, a mumu, and then to you are a tosso nay ya, ye chichin or ye mammy, a son booby bray. A ma said, You can can you go back to coo 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 no, papa no buy was a coo coo asa. Now a numb sir, Nitrimo pony, I dream pa. Ah, what did D and kind in Tino? In fear, do you know what you need? Part of do you know what you need? You're not assumed. Now, we'll be busy. Say, I drone you a cotton or he, say, I have one your cotton or he, if we, yeah, mom, when you're when you're the baby called Jerry John Rollins, a genimo, and now, and there, your baby drew baby, yeah, drew. Ain't you know, sir, obi at the tuna, sir. Nazian cry, what, 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 Esi isu kan se kofa ba ya wodi ye ye kabi ma mi kabi amangu e ba ye e ye Jerry John Rollins ah poto ka se me kan se founder of the fourth republic in the service of you so o man panyin bi e mu se kofa ba ye fourth republic yi e ye ye man panyin Jerry John Rollins ah na eni se ye totu na se but e mum ni e kan se service of you e bi mu tri mu po a na o mu dwe se o mu ni nani nhia Effort to food the Any near my can can hunt you know. Or more to two Nasia Copim say, or more can say, where you vote a four crowd bosom, vote a region bosom. Ain't you know, any idea, yes, so many beam. Number Saint Canocran say, Ampani Ampase, Yenya, a before, and as a vote a bosom, a be a ba, ama or minor, and ya some jay for twenty eight years, sir. Nam you say, Sabosom Nanka on fast war. Ne mum liti a watu mum sebi sebi yeni bisha no anya bosom. Ena yeni bisha bi mum se endi yama amia wano soso waji endi si a wo waba abosuo edi endi si a wo wano soso no se si ani kure free mono wabe ba na na emre mono se uti aman yokuya enkrofono ambe ba mono endi se edanya wosi ya ubeka se uti ne free endi no se ni pano e kuingia wa. Ni obe ya ni se, ube ja nasema amano. Na ni eka ni se, e wia siya ma eme muha. A kendi fobi e nya, e trimupo e ni asempebi, e be di aman fobi e nim. Ne e nam se, se biyo, e chita fobi antena, anti omwase. A omotu to, sa anko fono e ne muno. Sa ma muni yina, e bu gui. Me, me disisudu ya ye bibi, oma bi anefe no Russia. Na Russia, ne man who jina pa e ye ubi ne trimu po ni na dream en ane edikan. En ne se anko anko base ni pafu frosu sorry ah se bi no or dream ni omu man wwa enke y tieti ya omusun ka omanu kurano nka se bi se biu e akwa kwa to se e bebia bibia enimu. Enti se 
oman peni bi ba na ni chumu po eboa oman anya den ya sumje ya ye nya no emfie adio no enwatwi no enya ade a ewo se ye totu na se na ye sakan biem se eh ye man peni dada eni nkrofo bi di nkita ho abrochire se ye ni di oman peni ya wonya ni bibia ko na tem eni ho nya manema why some of Kaya or can I say and call every every free scene attending attending our Mokawa a chain war war I a friend baby with sharp teeth you know your mom penny a kind and a people crack and so where you're crying out boom 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 no much children in the NASA uncle for your beam ever sound which I have a cancer a jay woo a jay woo or move to a na a service of you eh in the sua eh omode edada gana man na enam se national democratic party yen ye ben eh ye mame nana kunadu ajiman rollins eni na hukani a we free mo nti no eh ye wo eni sua di hunu bia ye ka se omutrim po a omode achichiri oman no ye nyina ana se ye mpese obi betotu na se na emum e wose nzo ye shaase na anamompa awose yetu yono ni yetu ndi revolution ni ba yeno sebi sebi yo na eye ye mranti ya ni mabawa aye freye kedes ye ni yeti yo hugu omayenim eche tri revolution yono na ye nye suya hunu bebre wum ndi ni ye kane se ubiara woji rollins edi yeno emra ba se wujwe yon hun na wuhun se sebi sebi yo papano wodi yao ansana woko ni krechi Efa wanuankasa party ya wati ye Aye National Democratic Congress Inti no Ewasi ye njina ye afiye Na omayi no enkankro Ene ni ya efata si ye njina ye buwa eye no Ye kabom Na Ye bidi National Democratic Party echi Because Na huke ni nyame adom ye bomba ye manu Se nyame entune nkwandem Na aboswa ono suwa boa se sia no obepe se obe chichiro man no obe eh fense en eh etu eh franka amaye party no so so no se nyame edini be siye na amagana so so ediye edemase thank you very much alaji alaji before we move on to the questions you made a statement earlier on in relation to the fake news uh, by then most of us did not get the recording so we will be on cloud nine if you can please make that statement again so that we can get the recording please. okay thank you thank you very much Yeah, earlier on, I sought the indulgence of uh, ladies and gentlemen to say that uh, there have been some wild, very unprofessional piece of fake news, you know, in circulation. We understand. We know that was the game of our detractors to uh, seek to scuttle this very conference. But thanks to God, you are all here. Uh, we read as follows. Ladies and gentlemen, there was an announcement today on Kasapa FM, including Star FM, owned by Dr. Kabina Dufour, a leading member of the National Democratic Congress, that, and I quote, the flag bearer of the National Democratic Party, NDP, Nana Kunadu Ajman Rollins, has pulled out of the 2020 presidential elections. That's kasapafmonline.com has guarded. The story continued. It's believed that the last minute consideration is linked to the demise of Kunadu's husband, ex-president Jerry John Rollins, who passed away two weeks ago. Reports say the NDP leader has informed the EC of her decision. Meanwhile, the party is scheduled to address a press conference later today. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, this is fake news in capital letters and should be treated as such. Our leader is grieving and should be allowed to do so in peace. 
Our presidential candidates has no, not taken any decision to pull out of the race and has not been in communication with the EC. This is just the latest of the lies that the NDC has heaped on the Rawlinses over the last decade. The question you should be asking is this. Why is the NDC panicking now over the candidacy of Nana Kunadu Ajman Rawlins? Why are they afraid now? It is the ghost of their own misdeeds, a maltreatment of the Rawlinses, and the due reward that awaits them on December 7th, which is haunting the NDC. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, thank you very much, Alaji Frimpon. We are moving on. Uh, George, before you come in, Latif, please make it brief. Then we move on, please. Yeah, a follow-up question, I guess. Please, brief. Thank you very much. So, it's, it's on the same Kevin Taylor and the Mahama sponsorship point that you raised. You, you also spoke about the Ahoy's and former President Mahama setting out to, like Kevin Taylor, damage the reputation of the former late president and today are turning around to be chief mourners. Is that really the case? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, let me tell you, in the book, Working with Rollins, in the book, Rollins, Working with Rollins, it is a book full of contradiction and uh, one that was, I think, a man torn between a dilemma. And that is, he recognizes that he was brought into the limelight by J.J. Rollins, who saw some value in him. That is one. Two, but he described J.J. as not intellectual. He described J.J. as not intellectual. And most of the time, they just heeded him. But in any case, they also believed that it is his vision which was infused into the 1992 uh, Fourth Republican Constitution that had made Ghana stable. And that they cannot deny him that. Are you getting me? So, that is one. You're talking about Mama. Mama moved with JJ. He didn't understand JJ. He called him an enigma. We say no. Rollins was not an enigma. If you don't know Rollins, he's one individual who exuded profuse humanity. He, he exuded profuse humanity. And that the hindrance of same made him act in whatever way to let it out. That is the man. So if you move with him for so many years and you do not even read into his character and you call him an enigma. You understand? There are a lot of it. So please, don't let us belabor those points. We've made our points clear and uh, we can go on and on and on. But I don't think we're going to stay here forever. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Alaji. Alaji, maybe Sam is saying Misan or Chimu. Maybe Sam is saying Misan or Chimu. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, set by set is okay. Yes. Yet here in Samoa, Abu Bosu Union, any Sene NDP, Mosso, Opinia, when you're a baby called Rollins, Munua. Na enema bang specific things ena NDP e de e toto akuimu to honor the legacy of the late Rollins na of the late President Rollins sorry na me kan e de akan ose sabri ya woka se NDC for eni Oruwa Mahama ibu ne nti abra o ti ase na onya ne be bi ko afina won e ye match na na of Rollins ne na se for no NDP NDP for ever science me say Okay, maybe Eddie Raymond Kuma from Ochimai TV. The question I'm a person, me busa, a year, your mom, that we trim, you are Rollins. And now, sir, now NDC for who they say when they president and what is so he says, and now the damn quick for do open us him in the young TS, Neba, a year, Dr. Zenato Rollins. Oh, yes, sir. NDC for years, say, Omo me 
fa kwa bi aso na kula no o maka na she ai na me ne o ka sey ase be bi o contest e ye protocol no ndc fo e mia no because of ne papa ne ne ma me nti eh o mo person mo push in aside ye nyante ye na ndp fo mo so manya sante ye na na me do aso be brain so alaji yeah we can answer this set of questions then we move on to the next set good um you tell me say so he asked in three yes please okay. so answer in three okay then the see. next set will be in english okay yeah you tell me say what can i say ndp yes so dear near here if uh your mom when you're in the baby call save you in your mind you are over here yeah a bit down so uh chain in fact say ndc dn the american is a oh yeah Fear about why you come in. Say, yeah, to tea near a month for a Frank a two four or more a bar. A movie, what they are coming with a hey, goodies, political goodies. Uh, mama, a water, a free, a uh, uh, straw, mama, milk, mama, we. And the issue is that, and yes, sufficient for leadership. Telling people, say, you know, may ye, we may we know these are not, and I want us to take a cue from those we call great leaders of this country. They don't come with political goodies. You take the case of Kwame Nkrumah, or by you know, can say, look, Africa must unite. I mean, as a student of politics, I would say his manifesto was Africa must unite. Now, near ye ye biarano. He did it in fulfillment of that. Rollins had some kind of a compelling action. He didn't come to Guinea and say, you know, Katasisheni Proye Kosunti Meba. And that is leadership. He was compelled by the real instincts of leadership to catapult himself onto the political arena of this country. No buy and man what one social justice, integrity, probity, transparency and accountability. This for us is commitment and competence in leadership. And in Yeka. Now not people who will turn over with other objectives, what we call the nouveau riche almost is on by kakramunyeska and the inclination is different such leadership a pretense and opportunistic and of course revisionist revisionist because near a genie chila say yen yonu it's not what they are looking at what chaka kakra was okay and you may say what chaka kakra may say look at a i mean a typical example i know in 2012 when we're going to election, you have a candidate who says that may the free SHS Beba. My friend said, you know, that was his passion. That was what is in him. He was not in leadership. He was not in leadership. And of course, you know, others also said differently. So a constitution. The constitution says it must be gradual, it must be progressive, and other arguments say, ye kura. We're talking about leadership of purpose with competence and impassioned vision. And now you can, at least, you know, that leader who came and had no idea of what was in the past. Like Kwame Nkrumah came and said, Africa must unite. He didn't know what Ghana had in the past. In the same way, when somebody was acting on the imperative of the 1992 constitution and said, say, I'll bring free SHS. Now, obviously, gradualist, revisionist, progressive. These are the issues that we are talking about. We are not talking about leadership or political goodies, but at least people who are committed to a cause. Fortunately, people say in 1992 constitution, uh, yes, they want review, they want revision. The proper thing is that because we have not applied ourselves properly to the ideals of Rawlings, it is a say, you know. The 1992 constitution is remaining into what we are called, I mean, to what I call double-ended uh, 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 political puzzle. I'm saying so because a lot of constitutional 
pundits, you know, have been doing some convolution of writing, legislation, as to how to bring about social justice, uh, 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 integrity, uh, 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 probity, transparency, and accountability. At the other far end, how to achieve participatory democracy is because you must understand the ideals of the man. You know, Asian Americans say, if we had done that, now the heat that we generate every four years going into an election will end. And it's more profound than just saying, say, A, B, C. So we're talking about a philosophical vision of a person, and you need a political party that understands it. It's as simple as that. Not those with uh, nouveau rich tendencies who will just want to be uh, opportunists, you know, I mean, come to be revisionists of an ideal. And the, the NDP definitely will do it differently. We are putting leadership over political goodies. And we think that leadership is sufficient in the provision of political goodies. And in the same style of President Rawlings, when he came, he didn't promise anybody political goodies. But at the end of the day, when electricity, you know, uh, 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 supply in the country was barely 27%, he undertook, you know, the, 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 the I mean, provision of electri I mean, electrification in this country, you know, hitting almost 90%. 90%. These are the ideas that we are talking about. And the, what we are saying is that it will be very dangerous to leave this country in the hands of revisionists as far as the ideals of President Rawlings is concerned. And we are very passionate about that. And that's the NDP for you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Alaji. Because of time, we have to pick our last set of questions, then we can leave. Thank you very much. So, George? Thank you very much. Um, Alaji, uh, my name is George Osimbine. I report for Pan African TV. Um, Initially, I was finding it so difficult to understand the correlation between um, your flag bearer and why you are connecting her to some response made by the um, opposition NDC. But with your explanation, I'm through now. Now, my question is that, don't you think this your press conference will actually spark up another debate, possibly resulting to some insult to your flag bearer, looking at the current state in which she is? That's one. Two, you are asking Ghanaians to disregard the report by... Um, our colleague um, from other media station, that's Thai FM, about the report that they submitted. Um, is this your concern? Is the concern actually coming from the camp of the of your flag bearer or the party's position that you are asking us to reject or um, debunk that particular report? Uh, because you are, you, in your submission, you did mention that you are yet to meet her and then um, look at what exactly is going to happen. My question, I just want to find out whether if this is coming from the um, NDP as a political party or from the woman herself. Thank yeah, thank you very much. much. Let me... Alaji, Alaji um, okay. because of time, please make it brief. Okay. okay, please. My name is Joseph Armstrong. I work with TV3. Uh, first of all, Alaji, let me find out from you, these words, or this speech you just read to us, is it something that the former first lady played a role in? Because you said a lot of things that suggest that President Rollins said, such as you said, he said he cannot wait to see Mahama lose the upcoming election. And uh, this is something that Rollins is not here to attest to whether he said it or not. Now, let me also ask you this one, quick one. Alaji, Rollins believed in social justice. He stood for this country in the most difficult times when this country went through a lot. He stood for the NDC, signed with his blood, brought the NDC into being. But you left the NDC and formed a new political party. The Mahama and others that you are accused today are still with the NDC fighting what Rawlings stood for. But you left. Now Rawlings is no more. The Mahama and Co. organized a vigil. We did not see you. We saw Rawlings' son. We saw the daughters grace that occasion. You did not show up. Are we going to see you join the NDC after December 7th election? Thank you. Could you please make it brief for us? My brother, don't take the rain out of my soul. Alaji. My name is Kujaj, and I work with City News. Alaji, um, I want to find out from you. you. You are a great politician, and for that matter, an experienced one. Between the NDC and the NPP, which one is best positioned to implement the ideals of the founder of the NDC, number one? Number two, this campaign the NDP is on may affect the fortunes and the chances of the flag bearer's daughter, who is contesting 
uh, who is seeking re-election in the Clote Kole um, constituency. So if you are here declaring that NDP supporters should follow, I mean, seemingly the governing New Patriotic Party. No, and, no, no, and no, then, no, no, hold on. no, don't, okay, make, don't you, make that mention. Hold on, hold on, so. hold on, hold on. Okay, you, you, you're asking NDP followers to desert the NDC and then... Come to NDP. Good. Wouldn't this affect the fortunes of um, Dr. Ezanato Achiman Rawlins? If you say the mother is your, indeed the mother is your founder, and then for that matter, by and large, you want the best for her children as well. Thank you very much. Alaji, please, the floor is yours. Okay. Thank you very much. I think, uh, okay, the two others want to, please. If, no, uh, if, you and finish okay. with the sets, please. Well, quickly, um, I think I have answered this one, um, Clote Kole. The point is, uh, whether or not the issue of fake news was a decision taken together. NDP works as a whole. We have leadership that works with everybody. And uh, what we are talking about is shared. It's very much shared. And uh, it's our desire to insulate our flag bearer in this difficult moment as much as possible. The fact that we are not raising certain matters from the public with her is also trying not to increase you know that burden of having to grieve and also you know at the same time having to answer uh, some of uh, the questions that you've asked proceed can you no, no, it, no, 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 you have asked your question. Yes, no, yes, don't Alaji, worry. Please proceed. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yes, In any case. Could you please? Yes, could you? Please. If, 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 if you have asked your question, it's okay. Uh, Dr. Zane's uh, role in uh, Korte Kole, I mean, Korte Kole, uh, as far as we are concerned, uh, does not, you know, prevent us or stop us from giving a bigger picture as far as it concerns the country. You know, we are talking about a constituency, but we are looking at a bigger whole of the entire country. And don't let us take it for granted, you know, the very ideals that we have worked through, you know, to arrive at where we are. We still have challenges in the system, just like we have said, you know, if we apply the ideals very well. Uh, if somebody, uh, if you're talking about NDP and NDC, certainly, certainly. If you have one idea, I mean, I think I've given you this example, you know, between, uh, I mean, and I, I like citing this uh, example, I mean, from uh, uh, a geopolitical parallel. Uh, I, I, I gave you the example of China and the former Soviet Union, uh, who accused each other of the other being revisionist. At the end of the day, we saw what happened. So the ideals must be understood. If you don't understand the idea very well and apply it, you know, you don't say that we are the same. We cannot be the same. You know, that's why we are saying that. You, we need leadership, you know, to make the, the, the difference. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming. We thank you for the... Please, please, unfortunately, we are working with time, and we have to go accordingly. And, and I'm saying, you should understand me also, we are working with time... And our time is up and we need to move, okay? We need to move. So what I'm going to do is that when we are done, Alaji will be here to ask you one after the other. Alaji will be here to ask you questions one after the other, please. Unfortunately, we cannot proceed. Please, unfortunately, we cannot proceed. I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for coming. Have a lovely afternoon and enjoy your day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The kind of sins and nasty evil things they do.
and turn around and, so, and, and insult people like Martin Amidou, like my wife, like myself. And I wonder if that's my wife they're talking about. I wonder if that's Martin Mamidou. I wonder if it's me from our own. That's when, when you say, I don't criticize Nanado for the things he does. To be quite honest, I'm at a loss as to what to believe or disbelieve. Because I know the things about my, some of our people say about my wife, Machiman Midu, and myself are false. Some people with deeply malicious motives within our party have over the past 12 years especially, 12 years especially, consistently spewed falsehood about our own history and attempted to downplay the story of June 4th. Indeed, many of these personalities have shamelessly dissociated themselves from our history in a bid to create the impression that it is a blot on the image of the party. It is that suicidal tendency that has brought us to where we are today. Today, the social democratic credentials that give birth to the party are lost on many of us. Our party has always become a clone of what the other side used to be, used to be.